welcome to another exciting lesson with Aspire Graphic Design Team. In this lesson, we are going to create our first Photoshop document. For those students who just installed Photoshop 2019, it's going to be our first document. Let's get let's just get started with the lesson. To start, we are going to open Photoshop for the first time, and as I said, we just installed Photoshop 2019 on our system, and so this is going to be the first time we are going to open it. If wh whichever way you use it, we are going to open it from different sources. Okay, now I have my pinned to the taskbar. That is, Photoshop is pinned to the taskbar. I can click on it and it will open. Okay, some of you also have it on the desktop, and then when you double click on it, it will open. We also have it on the start menu. That way, when you click on the start button, your applications will open, then you scroll through. Then you find Photoshop, then you click on it, it will also open. So I'm going to open mine from the start menu. Now as I click on it, the application will load. Okay. <coughs> now let me just add that some of you have, uh, some of you installed the 32 bit version of Photoshop. And so the artwork will be different from the one we are, we are using now. This one is a 64 bit version and there is the artwork okay but it doesn't mean that the, the application will function differently 32 bit version only means that your system um, has 32 bit um, processor and so there's a need for you to also install the 32 bit which will work co compatibly with your uh, um, with your system that you are using okay so mine is 64 bit so i i installed the 64 bit version of photoshop and the features are the same you're going to get this everything clear whatever we're going to do you're also going to get it okay so our application loads um photoshop actually uses a lot of space you know so you should at least get yourself a good um, machine at least i3 or i5 i'm using the i5 desktop so it can read faster okay now our, our application has opened if it's the first time the first time of you opening it it will not look like this okay i have been doing quite a, a lot of projects so once i open it again it's going to open the project that i've done a lot of projects that i've recently done okay you can see um, this was um yesterday about 24 hours ago yesterday i i edited this work and then you can see seven days ago i did the uh, aspire training artworks i did a couple of um, 3d modeling then everything everything you see here is a project that i recently did okay all right um and then we we we, we have some buttons here we, are, we have home we have lr photos don't don't um bother about this one this one is lightroom photos it's about different application okay now photoshop allows you to cross um use other applications like the lightroom okay we are not going to talk about Lightroom, so we just go. We have create new here, and then we have open. We use open when we have we have done some project and it is um, found and it can be found in a uh, folder somewhere. But this time around, we don't have anything like that. So we are going to use the create new button to do it. So we just go to create new button. There was another way we can also do it. That is going to file, then click on new but um, this one is just clear to us so let's just click on it and once i click on it um the new document um w yes we have another um, pop-up here and this specifies or the in this um, um pop-up this is how we are this is where we are going to set up our document preferences okay so we have a couple of presets here we have a photo preset and this time the, um, this photo preset gives us some dimensions okay that we can use we have the four photoshop size and the default photoshop uh, photoshop size is seven by five at 300 ppi so we can see it's a it's a um a landscape orientation so the width is seven inches by five inches which is the height and then the resolution is 300 resolution is very important here resolution is very important here because um, 5 by 7 is quite a smaller um, size okay so you need to give it at least a higher resolution so that the pictures will be quality 
resolution deals with the quality of the picture or the quality of the project you are doing if i reduce this to let's say 169 or one our project will be smaller and it will be it will be very bad okay it will be very bad so is the need that is what photoshop uh, assigns 300 resolution to um, 5 by 7 as we increase the 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 size of the project the resolution automatically changes it automatically changes okay but let's stick to this one so when you're doing a project um which which is very small okay which the size is very small you need to use a higher resolution so that it will add to the beauty of the project okay now we have the the, um, the conversions here we have pixels by inch okay photoshop measures everything in pixels except that you specify in inches so we have inches here and once i click on it a drop down will come for so many conversions and whichever way you choose it will convert the current size into the uh, the, the other um, size okay so when i choose pixels it's going to convert 7 by 5 inches into 8 pixel um let's say estimate okay so this is what we have we have 200 to 100 by 1500 pixels so now let's choose the inches for this project okay now we have the color mode we have rgb grayscale cmyk now let's talk about two things here rgb colors and then cmyk rgb is basically red green blue okay and this one we use it for um network graphics okay network graphics that is the web graphics and everything but when we choose cmyk because um, CMYK means cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and this one is the color mode that printers use. So when we, we are designing for printing, we, we have to choose CMYK. Okay, we have to choose CMYK. If we choose RGB, when we are printing, the computer will convert it into CMYK, and it's going to affect our colors. Is going to affect our colors we are going to design with three color pattern and the printer is going to convert it into into four uh, color pattern which is going to affect our color mode okay it's going to affect that the, our project and then we have the color um so we j let's just choose bit we have 64 uh, we have 16 then 32 for this project we choose eight bit uh, okay and our background content we have black background color so let's just choose white okay let's just choose white for now for this place we are not going to go there we just leave it like that now we are done setting up our photo preset blank document for our photo okay now there's another way we, we there's another preset that we need to also try we have our print preset when we go to print you, you will see something usual something that i talked about okay so when you click on the print okay yes it has given us another preset that means that if we want to print there are certain presets that we we, we can use okay like the letter legal tabloid a4 a6 a5 a3 b5 you see we are so familiar with the a4 a5 a3 and those things but there are actually so many colors that um, so many paper sizes that we can use and but we are so familiar with a4 a5 and a3 and basically a4 is um the half of a4 is a5 okay and then two times a4 gives you a3 and then two times a3 gives you a2 okay then two times a2 gives you a1 two times a1 gives you a0 okay so th these are the uh, paper sizes that we are so familiar with and over here it also gives us our presets okay it also gives us our presets we also have art and illustration when we go to art and illustration you can see uh, a couple of sizes here we also have a lot of them then we, c we go to web this when we create for our web backgrounds web um landing sites and other things and quick one let's see you see that when we change to the web 
the resolution has changed to 72 okay the resolution has changed to 72 and the color is rgb the 72 means that web websites or webs use smaller um, sizes okay smaller sizes this time when i change it to inches you know you see you see um, it, it converted it into pixels and then gave us a 72 resolution that means that it the, the size is so large okay the size is large so there is a need for us to reduce the resolution so that the web the website can reload very fast okay it can when we give it 300 we will design all right we put it on the website and it will take longer longer time for it to reload okay yes because we are dealing with pictures here and photoshop measures pictures in um, pixels which gives us uh, the quality we want okay we also have mobile and this is for our ui and the ux project okay if those who design for uh, mobile applications the, the the front end of mobile applications for companies after learning this um, photoshop you will be able to design the user experience for um, website developers and then mobile app developers so some of you in the graphic design team will be working with some of some of us in the web design team because when you want you want to design a website you need to first do the frameworks you need to do the sizes how this going to look like okay this one will be a nav bar this one will be footer this one will be this this one will be that so it's a graphic designer who is going to label all those things then give it to a web design to code on it okay so we are going to fuse these things together and you the graphic designers will be working with the web designers all right we also have film and video and let me tell you that photoshop can be used to make videos we are not going to talk about videos right now but photoshop actually could be used to make videos all right so this is how we create a new document and so we will select one then i will click on create okay and after we cre we click on create our document will open so there is the preferences that we chose and congratulations we've been able to create a new um, untitled document okay now as we've created the document we need to save it so that we can open it from the next time if you don't save it you know you can't open it the next time around okay because our next lesson will actually focus on opening a project from our folder so that there is a need for us to save it so to be able to save this we go to file then we go to save as okay we also have the sh sh shortcut i don't want to use it here i want you to see it so we have save as we click on it then it will open you specify the place you want to save it mine has um, default place that i save it that's why it has opened for me but for the benefit of this course we are going to create a new folder on the desktop and then we will create it we will put our folders there okay so we go uh maybe we let's choose to you may either choose to create your folder before you come or you can create your folder straight out from here by clicking uh, right clicking then you go to new okay then you go to folder then you name it maybe um graphic design works okay then after this we can go into this folder then name it let's say first first graphics project and then the extension uh save as type of extension is photoshop psd pdd psdt project so just leave it like this then go to save okay and now when we save it you see that the title has changed from untitled one to first graphics project dot psd at 50 percent rgb by eight okay and these are the preferences that we chose rgb by eight so we have it congratulations we've been able to create a new document in our next lesson we are going to do another thing thank you so much